a stream is a bit like a conveyor belt in which uh, objects flow from one to the other position. And you have, can have several positions and each, or each of these positions have some kind of operation. So let's uh, assume that uh, our conveyor belt starts at the left hand side, like over here. And in Java that would be a collection. So it would be a collection. And from there you can invoke the stream method. And that will, invoke, that will create a stream of these objects. But notice that the, streams, uh, the objects will not flow. They will only flow when you have a terminal operation. But that will be, uh, appear in a minute. When you have a stream, you can do operations on all the objects that are passing through that stream or passing on that conveyor belt. For instance, you can have some kinds of transformation. Let's uh, draw it like a rectangle. You can do some kind of filtering. Let's draw that as a, as a diamond. And also uh, other transformation if you want to. And uh, typically at the end, you will have some kind of collecting operation. Let's draw that as a big circle because that's where I need my objects. So let's uh, run this, uh, this conveyor belt, this stream, with uh, simple Lego blocks. I have them here. I have blue ones and red ones. And I assume that these are the objects that I need. I'm just preparing a few. These are the objects that you need. I need. And you see that I have a set of, uh, of uh, two Lego blocks, uh, each uh, with five uh, blocks. So it's a pile of blocks. And what happens is, if, if this termination operation is available, then the stream will start flowing. Flowing one uh, part at a time. So now what happens is, the first thing is you put a object in this uh, stream. The operation that uh, I apply is, assume this is a string, that I take that string apart and chop it up into smaller strings. Like so. One, two, three, four, five. And these are now the parts of my string. Yes? Now the operation in this station is done. Chopping it up is the operation that you do. The next thing is it moves over to this, well, a bit tiny diamond operation and there you can do a test. And the test would be are these parts of these strings fitting to go to the next station. The next station will be making an object of them. And one of the requirements for instance is if you want to make student objects you need the student number at position one. So this should be a student number. Yeah? Now if it is the whole set is moved forward. If it isn't the whole set is rejected, is thrown off the conveyor belt. So let's assume that uh, it's accepted. Then the next station will make of this um, stream, of, of this array of strings, it will make it into a, a student object. So let's assume that I make a student object by simply reassembling these things a bit strangely because it shouldn't be the, the same as an array of strings. A student is different. Let's make it like so. Okay, this looks uh, well, wonderfully well like a student object. And then when this station is done, then you can put it to the next station, the last station where the objects will be collected. Now, let's um, do that one more time. I have a new set of Lego blocks. Yes, uh, here you see it. And notice there's a different color, white on top, and then we have uh, a red and then blue. This is Russian flag, as you might know. So the first station is take it apart, chop, 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 chop. So now we have an array of uh, strings and we move it over to the testing station. Testing, it says, hey, the first thing is white. It's not uh, fitting to make students of them, so reject it. Next, now, now nothing happened, and a further parts of the string of the stream, nothing will happen, and and the stream will consider the next block. Now it's a it's a normal block, it's all blue, or almost all blue. So let's move it over, put it on in there, take it apart. One, two, three, four, five. This is my array of uh, tiny strings. Move them to the testing station. 
testing station says yes, continue, make a student ob object out of it, like so. One, two, uh, it's not my, I'm a bit rusty on playing with Legos, but uh, this is fine. And there you go, I have my student object created and I can put it on the pile of student objects. That's it.